guys, this is Michael Horn with Nina Wren, and we are going to do a check today. We got two trout lines out, both of them with 20 hooks each, and we have five limb lines. And we we're going to try some noodling or jug fishing, but uh, my worms disintegrated in the sun today, and I didn't bring any extra ones. But eventually, we'll get this stuff together. Uh, real quick, in the beginning of the video, we're coming up on 50,000 subscribers and I'm going to do a giveaway to a bunch of bait shops across the country. All I need is you to email me at hooklinechill at gmail.com a picture of your bait shop or a picture of a friend's bait shop and whichever ones we pick we'll send a package to. So uh, we're going to check these lines and wish you some luck. We're going to cruise around this island first and if anything's moving we'll go and then we'll check the trial lines. somebody coming up. Oh, there's definitely a fish right here. Yeah. Moose's first fish. You gotta get it in though. All right, this is our, we got 95 days on our challenge. If you're just joining us, uh, watch a few of the earlier videos, but that, I went in. Oh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moose. How's it going? Oh, was it you? Yeah. It was on there for a little while, but uh, it, we made it finally. Moose's first fish. This is Nina. Don't forget, what was your name? Tim. Tim. Hi, Tim. You been uh, catching anything? <laughs> he got me. Really? Catch you uh, been catching anything on other days? Oh, that's all right. You sent me that. I see. I get all kinds of emails every day, so it's hard for me to keep up with it. Little bitty guy. Moose is afraid. She's a little messed up over it. <laughs> Look, he got me. He got you, Finji. Just a little. Let's see it. Hold on. I don't know that. You. Mhm. Mm right. They'll get you. Nina got Finn. Oh! boy. Yeah. You want to show that fish? Well, hopefully it don't rain anymore. Ow! We're going to run some trout lines down the way here. Do you want to leave this out? Good luck, y'all. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. See? Oh, I, I don't know that I ever actually got Tim on video, but there goes Tim. A subscriber. He emailed me earlier. He said, uh, I think I saw your line oh, moving. <laughs> Which, I appreciate it. All right, we're not baiting up today, guys, because I will not be able to come back tomorrow or the next day. I got someone else that will come down here and check it, though. But I won't be able to count it on our... All right, Moose. You gonna get that fish? <laughs> All right, better hurry. That's the thing that weighs at least half a pound. A half pound. We're a half pound club. <laughs> I don't. It's so small though. 
This is the first time anybody's been injured on the channel, other than my fingers, which I don't even count. Can you see how small it actually is, though? It's like nothing. Okay. It's okay. But yeah, I definitely, I guess I need to bring a first aid kit for, for fins. All right, we got, actually, let's, let's go ahead and run this line right here beside the island. Me and Tara actually put this out yesterday we put 20 hooks on it. I'll grab it if you'll grab him. I just don't want her to get him. Don't bleed out. Oh, <laughs> Taint nothing. Look at that. That's sexy. Oh, yeah. I'm doing this for charity, guys. Hold on. We got to get the calendar shot. Calendar shot? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I haven't told you about how the calendar. Days, wait. How many days are we down to? I, uh, earlier, I was counting 95 days left. Okay. Calendar shot. Calendar shot. Hold on. No. Let me lift up the line. <laughs> you think I'm joking about the calendar? Uh, I haven't amassed 12 people yet, but don't put okay. it past me. Get your get your still shot. Wait, I'm always getting still shots. I, I do 60 frames per. How many or, days are we down to? 95. And like I said, uh, I'm pretty sure we'd be all right. I feel like I haven't run a trot line in a really long time. This is the first time you've ran one since the spring, right? Yeah. No, this one very well could be hung up. We we just put the hooks and sinkers on it and dropped it. So it it looks like it's a little loose, but... Yeah, I was going to say, it's nice and loose. It's pushing us down river, but that's okay. When we got a little bit of rain here. It shouldn't be too bad. It's kind of ironic because uh, I did actually promise a friend of mine him that I would give him a shout out and wish him well on his knee replacement surgery and uh, now my knee really really hurts <laughs> That's all right, uh, I'm with you Tim we baited this line mainly with uh, actually halfway with minnows and halfway with skipjack so but I put most of the hooks closer to the bank if we skunk out, I have... We have not skunked out. We started with the fish. If so. we skunk out. I mean, like, if we if we have to film the fish. I have a huge... Oh, we got one. I have a huge amount of chicken livers I've been saving. Oh, he's so cute. Is he a fish? He's a flathead. Oh, that's some weight there. Don't, don't discriminate. Get a shot of him. <laughs> That right there is how you catch a hundred pounder though, if that hook was protruding out. Yeah, I got moose. It's a moose sized fish, that's for sure. Moose isn't too worried about the flathead. Didn't like the channel though. I did say, they were like that by a little puppy. Now this is a baby flathead. I'm sure most of you know that, but if you're joining us, these are not normal sized catfish. It's good eating in its infancy. But this 500 Look at pounds. There's another beaver. Yeah, they like that island. They are busy around here. Actually, I actually have a story about that. Me and my dad were on the island one time, camping. And my dad left me alone. I was like 10 years old. He had to go back up to the dock. So I'm on the island with a fire. And I see this head coming through the water. And I'm like, it's Bigfoot. That's how he gets away. He goes out in the water. And the top of his head... He just walks along the bottom top of his head was showing that day and then all of a sudden pow it was a beaver and he had slapped his tail that you talk about you if you're not expecting it feeling like a shotgun it's exactly like hearing a deer blow right behind your stand you have no idea what's about to happen and then but yeah and then i was my, when my dad got back he was out to go oh not bad <laughs> by the way these fish are so small that we're i'm actually uh trying to make sure they stay alive because we will release them although some people would like to fry that up no, it's not even worth skinning. well some people would fry the whole thing you ever been to south carolina when i was a kid like it's like the the fins and the head and everything still on the fish i mean i've eaten sand brim that way down in florida the fins fry up like little potato chips well, we didn't, I don't know if we caught anything more, but I am kind of glad to see that it's not hung up. But I'll tighten it up next time we come out here. It's the first We're, piece of bait we've seen. Yeah. We've kind of baited a little bit early. Gars and stuff. Actually, uh, 
Tara pointed out something that I didn't realize that she has never caught a gar. He's right there. Yeah, see. Oh, the camera won't pick it up though. It goes from light to dark. Oh, it's really cool though. He's right in front of us. It may have got it though. All right. Is there, Something's on it. There's something little. Another little one over there. Oh, do you need the net? I mean, obviously, we should always use a net if we were smart. And we have a bigger net, by the way, guys. I just, uh... We don't need it right now. You know, the day we need it, I'll bring it the next day. <laughs> That's how I operate. All right, well, if anything, we're going to trickle in this 500 pounds. This was the Glenwood line. This is Glenwood. And the other one is Deniston. Deniston. Named Deniston. Deniston. Is it Deniston or Deniston? Well, I was actually wrong about Berea. <laughs> so you're the one that should come up with. Uh, I think it's Deniston. Con I never saw it in writing, so I couldn't tell you. Well, I we're didn't gonna read the mail. we're gonna say Deniston because that's the place the trout line was mailed from, the, the town in Deniston, Kentucky. And then this one that we just ran is the Glenwood line mailed from Alabama. And you know who you are. The Deniston line brought to you by Kentucky. I think Mark Talby. We had a rain a few days ago and a lot of the junk and stuff is still coming down the river. It was a downpour though. It's tied to the base of this uh, stump. Should be able to reach it today. Yeah, I can see it. Moose. Moose is loose. Let me just make some room for her here. Oh! <laughs> All right. Moose is definitely loose. Moose has taken off. Bye. I wonder what she would do if you like <laughs> just. We started leaving. Hey you. What are you doing? I feel like this is the right place to be, and you guys are the wrong place to be. She says. And I gave her like a really deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> Muddy feet, come here. Because I feel like a moose would sound like that. She's gonna be filthy. Oh, yeah, we did. I did take this to a car wash once. That's good for at least two years. Here comes uh, Timothy. I think that's Timothy. Goodbye, Moose. You chose I do the, get a lot of. You chose the wrong political party here. We don't go political on this channel. I cut it all out. Uh oh. What are you gonna do? Can you do it? She's like, oh, heck no. Oh, Tim went and got a buddy. I saw that. All right, you. What did I tell you about jumping out of the boat? You meant to get it. Come here. Oh, that's not Tim. This is my cousin, Daniel. Oh. Here's a fish. Uh, there's a great big old gar. Really? Yeah. And, and, and there's a snake. Yep. Right. Um, hold on just a second. Uh, I'm not even sure if he's alive. That is a big drawer. No, he's dead, but recently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to pack up with my hatchet, though. Well, we'll keep him till the end, but. Is it still hung up? It's hung, but there is something else on this line. If you watch this damn camera, I need to figure out. I need to get like a.
Here. Really? Are you sure? Another knot. Threw that one out in the water. There's an orange one right there. All right, you do the clove hitch on the line, guys, as close as you can get to the snag. As long as you think it's just underneath something. And then you let it down. And you want to go downriver. You're basically assuming that it's underneath something. Deep down. If you let it back down and then pull outward. It will pop out. And it doesn't work. Don't yank it too hard, there's a fish on it. And then you just jerk the hell out of it and it pops out. That's how you do it. Are you recording over there? Yes. This is my cousin, he's a weirdo. Copyrights, bro. <laughs> I think Nina's probably a better cameraman anyway. Look at me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> get, that, get that shrimp. <laughs> no? You gotta zoom way in, macro view. Oh, Aw, yeah. he's so cute. We're catching all kinds of small, tiny ones. Yeah, we are. Switch your places for the last time. <laughs> that one got me good. <laughs> I'm bleeding now. Where? Right there. Oh, that's a rough spot, Michael. We're I'm blood sorry. Buddies. We are blood it? buddies. You want to do it? Do you want to? Do you no. want to? <laughs> sorry. No way in hell. Has anybody ever done the blood buddy thing? Comment I mean, below. I, I would hope that they wouldn't admit to it because they probably have AIDS. I mean, I'm not saying that I've ever done that. <laughs> Even though I think I just said that. I'm homeless, I have AIDS, and I'm new in town. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, girl. All right, guys. Raining need... again? It's sprinkling, yeah. We need some more fish. Although... At this rate, we need 500 more fish. <laughs> Well, we only actually need 475. Here. She's got me so muddy. It's all right, she's, only, she's just sitting on that knife now. <laughs> all right, she's got to learn. We're all bleeding. There's some hooks over there right beside the bank, and they have been catching fish, so probably want to go all the way. into the darkness. We tied to that log actually originally. My arms are getting tired. All right, I think you, you're probably close enough to see it. And that is it. We debate it and now we're gonna do the weighing. All right guys, this bag weighing is from Solid Solutions, a tile and stone company out of Brownsville. They make anything tile and stone, tile in your bathroom and stone fireplaces. All right. And they are our, I don't know, is it a sponsor or just somebody that... They're going to give us a dollar per pound and we pledge to give every bit of that to charity at the very end. And currently we're on 23 pounds. And we have till Halloween to get to our mark. And we're... One more. He don't even count. Yes, he does. <laughs> and by the way, it has to be catfish. That's why we're not weighing the gar. Even though it's dead. Yeah, it's just for show. Okay. And just hold it up. And this thing is kind of finicky, so we gotta like really. I think the first time we did it, we screwed ourselves. Hold it. Feels hold like about it. eight pounds, maybe. You're way off. Seven. I mean, it's eight, but it's ounces too. <laughs> I think we could see it. And the rule, the rule is we can only do a full pound, so eight pounds. So. I eight, lift eight pounds a day for a living. Yeah, she lifts eight pounds a day for a living. Well, not eight pounds a day. Eight pounds a thousand times a day. All right, well, she's, she's good. This is the Green River, guys, and this is the Green River Purpose. That's what I'm calling it, the GRP. <laughs> I like it. 
and we're going to continue doing this for at least a few more weeks and we'll switch it up eventually this is michael horn with nina wren and moose 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 we'll see you next time first blood not me look Johnny let me come in and get you the hell out of there they drew first blood